when we are learning about numbers we compare big number small number is it it now in numbers we must also learn some signs okay now when i say number you have five sweets you have five sweets both are five both are happy equal the five sweets and five sweets both are equal so we have a sign for that what sign is that we have different signs when we say equal we use a sign like this equal i gave you five chocolates i gave her five chocolates so we call this particular sign equal so we are comparing okay so now this is a particular sign we use when equal now sometimes you get five marks another child get three marks we are comparing numbers big small or small big when you say five she got five marks she got only three marks five you use a sign called greater okay there is something called greater sign less sign when we compare numbers there is something called greater when you say the greater sign you put it like this but it will point towards the number less number the big number that means this sign what we need to learn is this particular sign if i put 2 here and 5 here which means the greater number greater sign always points towards a small number greater than it's called there is another sign that we call it greater than we call it another one we say less than greater than less than the less than is always a reverse and it is like this reverse that means when we do the numbers you will learn in this sign in this sign when you say less than the number all you need to do is the number where is it pointing to now this as we do i will explain here this is easy when you say equal to i give you five marbles i give your friend five marbles then what is the sign now i have seven apples and your you have seven apples i have three marbles and you also have three marbles i have 12 boxes of chocolates and you also have 12 boxes of chocolate suppose i have 23 ice cream sticks and then you also have collected 23 ice creams in this regard now i put a box in between for us to understand what is equal now both of us have collected the correct number now in this case the sign we use here is equal 5 and 5 equal same same equal to it's called equal to same same okay now we are looking at what is called greater than less than we talking about greater than and less than okay now i have uh i have let's say <clears throat> nine beautiful parrots in my house okay and my neighbor has or my friend has three parrots what is uh, then i have uh, let's say 
twelve color pencils and she has only seven color pencils. Then we can say I have twenty nine trees in my house and my neighbor has only thirteen trees. There are thirty six marbles in my box. My friend has got only sixteen marbles. I have in my house lovely little bird that come and visit me. There are about seventy birds that visit seventy two birds that keep visiting me and my neighbors say there's a mango tree and there are only thirty one coming there. Now we are comparing numbers. What are we doing here? We are comparing two sets of numbers. Now what I want you to look at is we are learning to place the sign sign. What is sign? In comparing numbers, we use sign here equal. You got, you, got, you got two friends, I have two friends. I have five marbles, you got five marbles equal. Here, big greater than greater number. Now look at this. This number is big. Nine is bigger than three. Now the sign greater will always point towards the small number. Okay. Remember, the sign will always point towards the small number, telling if the open mouth of the bird here it is nine. Always point towards the small number. The pointer, or the beak of the bird. The beak. The bird has eight, eaten nine, and here three. So always remember, the greater sign always points toward the small number. That's a great number. This number is great. So you have the big wide open. Okay, that's all you need to remember regarding the sign. Now in the case of less than. In the case of less than, let's look at it. We are learning to place signs in comparing the numbers. Okay, we are learning to place signs in comparing numbers. Now, what happens is this particular. Now, here I have with me, I have with me five bananas, and I have five bananas with me. And my neighbor bought twelve bananas for herself. Then my I have six friends, and my friends have twenty-one friends. My friend. But I have three story book and she has eleven story books. In my uh, classroom, there are seven broken chairs, and in my neighbor's class, there are seventeen broken chairs. Now, in my house, I have bought three kilos of apples. Thirteen kilos of apple, and my neighbor has some visitors, so they bought twenty-one kg apples. Now, again, here as I told you, we are comparing numbers. We are looking at sign less than. Remember, the sign less always points towards the small number. When you say less than, less than. Twenty-one, six is less than twenty-one. Three is less than small number. Whether you are writing greater or less, all you need to remember the big points toward the small number, whether it is less than or greater than. The greater number is swallowed by the bird's beak. Okay, so seven is less than seventeen. Thirteen. Is less than twenty-one. Now, supposing you have a bird. If I draw a bird's mouth, 
Now, here you have a bird here. Okay, now the bird, this particular bird, what happens is he, he has a nice big beak. Okay. Remember, the number that is big is been already swallowed by the bird. So when you point, it points toward the small number. Whether it is greater or whether it is less, remember one thing. The beak of the bird, the wider the, the beak of the bird, it has already taken the number. So... When you write, when you say which is less, the 31, it is pointing towards the small number. When you say here, again, if you draw a bird, the bird is again pointing towards the small number, the smaller number. And that's what you need to remember. The bird's beak is already taken away. The big number swallowed the big number. So the beak always points toward the small number. Or if you remember that, that's enough. Okay. The beak of the bird always points toward the small number. The beak of the bird always points toward the small number. Now do you know how to identify? How to identify greater sign, less sign? Think of the bird. The bird always takes the big number and it always look at the small number. Again, the bird always taken the big number, point to it. Whether you are writing the greater sign or less sign, always remember the bird big.